the son of a wealthy Pennsylvania dentist who killed his own wife on an African vacation and then tried to cover it up, says his father, Larry Rudolph, who spoke for the first time. Doesn't believe he can do something like that until I saw photographs and heard statements at last. Years hearing that shattered the inside of a person. In an exclusive interview ABC News, Julian Rudolph said his father called him from federal prison where he was serving a life sentence. But that Julian had very rarely pick up the phone. And that 2016 Da Bianca said she could not forgive man who fatally shot Rudolph, he could collect life insurance for about $5 million and live freely with his mistress, whom he been for a long time. Julian, now 3-3, said, This is incomprehensible to me. But what Julian described as equally incomprehensible was the struggle he waged with the U.S. government for most of last year. They treat my sister and me more like perpetrators than the surviving victims of a violent crime he said. Julian and his sister Anna Bianca are trying to get back millions of dollars that they believe their father got from them after their mother's death. However, in the opinion the Justice Department, millions dollars scammers were a few insurance companies. The this led federal officials confiscate a large portion Larry Rudolph's known assets and then turn to insurance companies pay compensation. What made things even more complicated that Larry Rudolph's wealth was allegedly interrupted by generous spending before he arrested and increased legal woes afterwards. So Julian and his sister, he insists that most of what remains belongs to them, not the federal government. They accuse the Justice Department of obstructing rather than helping rescue efforts. In a photo of Larry Rudolph on his Facebook page on October 7, 2011, the Justice Department said it was merely following law and seeking justice for all those affected. And so far the two federal courts have held same opinion. The U.S. Prosecutor's Office in Colorado, which deals with Rudolph's case, told ABC News. Our goal is to ensure that Lawrence Rudolph does not profit from a heinous crime. The Ministry of Justice is working in good faith with lawyers for the victim's children to resolve disputes over how to best achieve this goal. Larry Rudolph said he wanted the money to be given to his children. The ongoing disagreement includes complex justice issues, the of narrow legal debates, and as one federal judge put it the two sides talking behind one another from time to time. The federal judge, who had previously ruled against Julian and his sister, is now re-evaluating the case and deciding whether to appoint a mediator. In an interview with ABC News, Julian said law was much more than language, and that prosecutors had the authority to exert law in practice. As far as Julian remembers growing up outside of Pittsburgh, it was a quite normal suburban life with a seemingly peaceful home.